All right, thank you for coming. Um, the purpose of this release is to inform you of the death of a 26-year-old woman from Edinburgh, Terrace Port Augusta. Um, the victim died on Monday the 28th of October at the Royal Adelaide Hospital, and shortly afterwards her death was declared a major crime. Major crime is currently leading an investigation um, supported by Port Augusta CIB specialist police in Adelaide and who have travelled to Port Augusta. The investigation is into the circumstances of the death and to determine if the death was, was as a result of criminal neglect and if that death was a result of criminal neglect to determine who's criminally responsible for causing that death. That will actually take quite a long time and I expect it will be a reasonably lengthy investigation. By way of background, I can tell you that the victim had significant physical and intellectual disabilities and had some serious underlying health issues, but I'm not prepared to discuss those with you today. The victim lived with her mum in a house at the street and required ongoing care and support and was not under the NDIS and we've been unable to identify any um, current care plan at this point. Um, we don't know whether other people were assisting in the care of the victim. I can tell you on the 24th that the ambulance at Port Augusta was called to the address after the victim had suffered a fall and was unable to be um, recovered from the floor and, and put back into her chair. When they arrived, they found the victim was suffering um, a serious medical condition and had open wounds and sores and that the house was in squalid conditions. As a result, she was taken to the uh, Port Augusta Hospital um, in a serious um, condition where she received ongoing care. But sadly, the following day, her condition deteriorated and she had to be flown to Adelaide in a critical condition. On the 25th, um, Port Augusta CIB were advised of the investigation by medical staff and they immediately commenced an investigation in respect to criminal neglect and executed warrants on the house and searched the house with the aid of their local crime scene investigators. On the 28th of October, in the evening, sadly, the victim died at the Royal Adelaide Hospital and shortly after that, the death was declared a major crime. As a result, um, Major Crime are now leading that investigation, as I said earlier, and being supported by other specialist police, both here in Adelaide and at Port Augusta, and also by a Forensic Science SA. Upon being notified, a scene guard was immediately placed on the house on the Monday night, and Major Crime and specialist forensic investigators travelled to Port Augusta the following morning and commenced a forensic examination and searches of the house, which will take between two to three days. So it may finish this evening or it may continue on for another day. I can say that there's significant indicators present in the investigation at this stage of criminal neglect, but some clear at this stage whether that criminal neglect caused the death or whether the death was caused by serious underlying health issues. And as I said, that'll take some time to establish. So as a result, um, we're now conducting a major criminal and coronial investigation. So the criminal investigation will, both investigations will look at the cause and circumstances of the death. Um, and the coronial investigation will always also look at what could or should have been done um, to prevent this death. We will, as part of the criminal investigation, look at the role of everybody who had a role in providing care to a victim and whether in the circumstances that role was sufficient to meet the needs of this victim and as I said to establish whether or not the victim did in fact die of criminal neglect or that underlying health issue. So I'm happy to take your questions. Um, 
Doc, is this this has eerie um, similarities to Annie Smith? Is that parallel being drawn? There is some similarities, but there is some um, distinctions as well, which I won't go into. But the reality is, we believe that the victim was living in squalid conditions, and we believe that there are signs of serious criminal neglect present. The difference is with Annie Smith, we knew at the outset that that neglect contributed to her death. That's unclear in this case at this stage. Is there any way of knowing how long this um, the victim, the young victim, had been um, seriously ill to that point where she was close to death? Uh, um, I think that that's recent, but there are ser very serious health issues that the victim had suffered all, all of her life. Yeah, she no. said that um, every person that provided care to the, to the young lady uh, is, um, it will play a role in this, is the, the mother the, the, the prime target of the investigation at the moment of where the, the lines of inquiry are going? Obviously, um, mum lives with her daughter and obviously supports her, but um, there may be other people who had a role in providing care or who should have been providing care. So um, we won't jump to conclusions as to who is solely criminally criminally liable, we'll have a look at the investigation and we'll see where the evidence takes us. Has the mother been cooperating with police so far? And and all of the family have been cooperating at this point. John, you say the victim lived, the young victim lived with her mother. Was the mother present at the time of the fall? I'm not sure she was present, but she was an occupier of the house at the time. Are there what other people are living in the house? Say again? Who else was living in the house? Mum and daughter. Mum and, just mum and daughter? Yep. Did she have any siblings? Uh, yeah, there are other family members. Do you know why the NDIS wasn't aware of this um, young woman, this young patient, if she had such serious um, underlying medical conditions? Um, no. Um, the, the disabilities that the victim had were of such that she would have been an ideal person to be under the NDIS and to receive whatever support was available from any other agency. You mentioned that when the ambulance crews went to her, they were unable to lift her onto the chair. Was there any particular reason why they couldn't assist her? Um, the person that was with her, it was impossible for that person to do it alone. Yeah. Doc, can I just clarify, I think the release that went out said the victim was 27. Is she 27? 26. She's definitely 26, okay, yeah. thank you. Can you go into her disabilities at all? What disability sort of specific uh, disability I only to say that her um, physical and intellectual disabilities are such that she needs adult care for the duration of her life. And although she's 26, um, her intellectual capability is very, very much lower than that. Would you, would you characterise it as she was highly dependent on those around her? Yes. Was there anyone who um, had an inkling of this Anyone reported this early to police, or was it wasn't until she was taken to hospital? From a um, from a government and law enforcement perspective, little is known um, about them, about the family, and there's been nothing untoward that we've located so far. But I just emphasise we're only two days into it, so I, I expect that um, friends, family, people who know um, the victim and the family will contact us, that's what happens in our other jobs and I think that will happen here. What uh, are potential charges, I know it's very early in the in the investigation, could a person be uh, facing with, with, with this type of um, uh, incident? Um, at its lowest it would be criminal neglect. Criminal neglect of anybody is a very, very serious charge um, and attracts large penalties. Uh, and then obviously you've got criminal neglect that results in death, which is akin to a manslaughter. And does a disability uh, weigh into any of those charges as well? It will go back to the cause and circumstances of the death. So in this case, we're, we've found clear indicators of criminal neglect, but we're yet to establish evidence that proves that that neglect led to her death. It may not have. You mentioned that it's going to take a couple of days to search the house. Is that because of the condition of the house? Yes. And how would you describe the squalid conditions? Are they the worst you've ever seen, or how would you describe uh, them? The, the house is not fit for human habitation, in my view.
Who's your long time locals? Uh, I don't have all those details. John, do we know if um, this young victim frequented a local hospital at all? Was she well known to nurses and doctors there? Or? Because of her health issues, um, she had um, doctors and people she dealt with. And was there any alarm bells from them? Was there any, any issues raised? We've seized um, medical records from a, a local doctor and also from the hospital, but it will take us time to go through all those because we're obviously at the scene and doing other things at the moment. Have the neighbours um, reported any unusual uh, activity or behaviour at the house in, in the weeks or days leading up to? Not that we can find at this stage. How difficult was it for police, for ambulance crews, um, when they first responded to this case? I just think for anybody in the community, it's just terribly sad that any person could live in these conditions in 2024. Last question, thanks guys. Was the mum the only resident there? Uh, as of the 24th, I believe that to be the case. And was she, has the mum been questioned or arrested? Is it likely that she'll be arrested? Um, no, as I said, we've we've got to conduct a full investigation into the full cause and circumstances and, and not jump to conclusions and um, treat everybody fairly um, that we may interact with throughout the investigation. And will there be a neglect charge in the interim, regardless of the cause of death? Well, in, in this sort of case, um, the, the, pers the mum is not caring for anybody else, so there's no risk to anybody else at this stage um, if, in fact, the mum is responsible. Um, so there's no need to rush. Um, we've got time to conduct a thorough, comprehensive a meticulous investigation and then to see what the evidence tells us and then we'll take action based on that. Thanks guys. Thank you. All right, thank you all. Thank you.